please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. In Python, decorators are a powerful tool for modifying or extending the behavior of functions or methods. While decorators provide a clean and concise way to enhance the functionality of your code, handling doc strings properly becomes essential for maintaining code readability and documentation. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to manage doc strings when using decorators with practical examples. A doc string is a string literal that occurs as the first statement in a module, function, class, or method definition. It serves as documentation for the code, providing information about the purpose and usage of the code block it describes. In Python, doc strings are enclosed in triple double quotes, and can span multiple lines. Let's start by creating a basic decorator structure. Decorators are functions that take another function as input, perform some additional actions, and usually return a new function. When using decorators, the inner function, wrapper in our example, may lose the doc string of the original function. To address this, Python provides the functools.wraps decorator, which copies the doc string and other metadata from the original function to the wrapper function. Let's modify our basic decorator to use functools.wraps. Now, the wrapper function will have the doc string of the func function. Now, let's apply our decorators to a sample function. Let's call the functions and examine their doc strings. As you can see, the decorator underscore with underscore wraps decorator preserves the original doc string, while the basic underscore decorator does not. In this tutorial, we explored how to handle doc strings when using Python decorators. Using functools.wraps ensures that the decorated function retains its original doc string and metadata, contributing to better code documentation and maintainability. Consider incorporating this practice into your decorator implementations to enhance the clarity and usability of your code. ChatGPT We've updated our Terms of Use and Privacy Policy, effective December 14, 2023. By continuing to use our services, you agree to these updated terms. Learn more.